so 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 and grow 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 guys so today we are going to be doing a small garden tour guys hey so i want to see what this weather did to my small garden when i was gone in virginia so if you are ready for this garden tour stick around it's gonna be exciting <laughs> All right, guys, so we are on the one side of the garden. This is my black cherry tomato. And this baby is grown profusely very, look at this. I mean, still, I mean, still growing. And then we have some black cherry tomatoes there. So I can't wait for those to turn colors. Exciting, guys, exciting. Look at this mint, guys, core. Yes. Whoa, gosh. She's gorgeous. I'm about to pluck her out, you know, clean her out some. But she's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, and she smells heavenly. All right. Here are my carrots. Down in here. This is what they're looking like. If I can move the corn. This is the corn, guys. Now, this corn grows no more than uh, four to six feet. And as you can see, the storm has broken one of my tassels here. Well, I know this is good right now to throw on the um, silk hairs, but I don't see any silk hairs. So, we'll see. This is all the corn. It's grown so much. As you guys can see, the beans have left for the season. It dried out. It's crazy. I got a total of 12 beans off of this thing this year. That was it. That was it. This is the eggplant. Let's see if we've grown anything, because I know I pulled two off, and it wasn't growing anything else. So let's see. So, I don't see any more eggplant. I wish somebody come and get that car. Okay, we might get some more. We have some flowers here, a flower there, but it's there, it's there. So, looks like we're gonna get eggplant. This is the chocolate sprinkles. Looks like it might be on its last leg. Good though, you know, but she's definitely dying now, as you guys can see. This is my yellow banana pepper. And guys, I want to just say, do not let your pepper get that big. Whoa, those things are spicy. All right, guys, <coughs> this is my pepper plant, my candy cane pepper plant. And I have more candy cane peppers, guys. I'm excited. Really, really excited for that. Looks like something ate off of that one, but it's okay. It left me more anyway. So yeah, she's still looking healthy. Yep, look at that. Still trying to grow some more. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And then this poor bush tomato. I think she is finally done. So I'm definitely going to just get rid of her. There's no more growth on her. Uh, well, you got some there, but I mean, I'm not gonna cry over this plant here. I mean, it's really just done, you could say. Really, really done. You get spinach back here. Whoa, look at the spinach. Looking lovely. Looks like she's trying to flower on me or to go to seed, and that's okay because we will harvest, be harvesting some seeds. But you have some leaves down here we can use though. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let her go to seed so we can collect lots of seeds guys So I'm just really excited for that guys. I'm gonna have me some spinach seeds. Wow Nicely, I do have some dragon fruits over here And these are the purple dragon fruit cuttings Purple 
purple dragon fruit cuttings. So I got four of those. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some more perlite in these. This is the bone. Yeah, so that's what those look like. Guys, what are those? Look at those sweet potatoes, guys. Look at those sweet potatoes. Very lush. The leaves are absolutely beautiful on them, gorgeous. And they're just still growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Haven't seen any flowers yet on here. I'm not sure if they'll get flowers, but they're still looking beautiful and lush. Gorgeous under there. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's all starting to yellow and brown up for me, and I can't wait to do a harvest out of this seven gallon grow bag. I cannot wait, guys. So let's try to push her up. All right, so she is. I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So y'all guys already know. <laughs> yeah, already now. So yeah, that's what that she looks like. There, right there. This, this, these are the white potatoes. And then all the sweet potatoes. Whoa. Wowzer. I don't see not a one squash. I've seen one squash growing, and then I don't know what happened. It just didn't grow anymore. <laughs> um, so I got a lot of these type of leaves in here, but I am looking for my baby watermelon. Hopefully they're in here. Uh-oh, no. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> The loss of this baby sugar watermelon. No. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Wow. Okay, guys, should be one more in here. Let's check her out. Oh my God, no. They're dead. Look at that. Oh, I'm so sick to my stomach. There is loss. There is loss. There is loss. The baby sugar watermelons have died. And those are the only two that I was growing. I was so excited for it. Uh, my grapes, raspberry and blackberry tree, didn't do too well, just leaved and now it's browning. So hopefully next year to give me something. And I'm going to move this plant anyway for next year. Okay. And all this won't be here either. I'm just so sad. So sad about my. I'm just so sad right now. Really, really sad. Really, really sad. All right. So the plant that I got from Lowe's that was a dollar for the eight plant. This is definitely growing big and gorgeous. Uh oh, we're getting the eggplant. Look at that. Exciting. All right, so I will be having these for winter. Um, yeah, and these leaves are gorgeous. Look how big these leaves are, guys. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous leaves. Okay, this tomato, the sun sugar tomato plant, it gave a few tomatoes. It's still trying to grow, so I'm just going to leave it here over winter and see how it does. And I have a big Bertha around here somewhere. She's not doing too well, as you guys can see. Not too well at all. But this is a pepper plant, guys. I cannot wait to hopefully harvest some peppers off of here. It's still giving me beautiful flowers. So hopefully we can get a pepper or two off of here before winter, guys. So this is what it looks like. No, 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 no. Hey, you alright? Looking, looking nice, looking nice. Uh, thank you. So sad. We got a loss in the garden. Alright guys, we are in back of my uh, patio on the fruit tree lane. And this is what she looks like here. That is the apple tree that I got. A red delicious apple tree. Okay. So I got her from Walmart for 11 something. It was on sale. Now guys, remember when I showed you my fig tree? Yeah, well, I had to cut all the leaves off because that last storm, not the storm rate, the one we just had, but the one before that destroyed this tree. So I cut every leaf off. 
And look at all the leaves that are coming up here, guys. I, I think all the leaves are beautiful. I think it's coming back even better and stronger, guys. If you see, if you notice, remember the last... seen it it only had a few leaves on here but since i cut all the leaves back look at this guys this tree is just bloomed healthier and you know they say the more leaves you have on your tree the better for you to get some figs after you do some pinching but look how gorgeous i mean she has more leaves on her now than before than when i first got her so she is absolutely beautiful Guys, she's gorgeous. I'm excited for this plant. Yes. Now, this is my orange plant. The sun has been beating it up, and the weather has been beating it up. So, I'm going to have to do some pruning on her. She's definitely grown a lot. I don't know if a bug has been eating my leaves or what's going on over here, but we do have a lot of leaf drop here. The leaves are curling up. So, if anybody knows what's going on in this, please let me know, please, please, please. <laughs> Leave it in the comments about this one, because I'm not sure, and this is supposed to be my orange tree. My two poor banana plants from the last, very last storm that we had, not the very last one. The before storm tore my banana plants up, but they're starting to grow back healthy now again, and I'm excited for that. Because these babies were toe up from the flow up, honey. Toe up from the flow up. So I had to get them all, fix them all over again. But they're starting to grow healthy again, so I'm happy for that. Banana plants are good too, also. You know, a little tough in nature, so which is really good. So I'm excited for that. Because all these trees, believe me, are going to be sitting outside in the winter. All right? I don't want to be bringing bugs in my house. Uh, so guys, do you see that? Look at this. New growth. New growth. I don't know what's going on with this baby. Let's pluck her off. Ah. Let's pluck her off. Can we pluck her off? There we go. Now, this plant is going to grow much better. Look at that, guys. Look at that new growth. Wow. Excited. Excited. All right. Of course, my blueberry bush isn't doing too well. Now, we have a lot of cats and people's dogs. They don't know how to walk their dogs. They just let their dogs roam all over. So, I have to have these knives in here. Guys, we have growth on the papayas. I put a few papaya seeds in here. And look at that. We have two seedlings of papayas, guys. I'm excited for that. Excited. The mangoes, eh, nothing yet. Coconut still looking good. And I did have to put some knives in here also. And I noticed, I think it was a cat that was in here trying to get the coconut water out of here. <laughs> Weird. All right, now this is my pomegranate. She is growing, but she then lost all her pomegranate, <laughs> as you guys can see. So hopefully she does something in winter for me. Now the mango hasn't done anything yet. All right, guys, so that's what she's looking like, guys. So I'm excited, and I have an apple tree, guys. This is the red delicious apple. I know you need to have two different types of apple trees in order for your apples to fruit. So I will have another apple tree, and it will be surprised when I get that, and I will show that, guys, to you. But I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Now, if anybody knows more about growing apple trees, let me know in the comments below so I can follow you. And I know this tree is growing because this wasn't here. And these little knobs like these weren't here. All right? And a lot of these knobs that are sticking out weren't here when I left. So, I'm excited, guys, for my apple tree, especially for this beautiful fig tree. I mean, it's even healthier after I chopped all the leaves down. So guys, what do you think about this crazy, crazy garden? What do you guys think about the summer and your gardens? Farmers, gardeners, I mean, it's just been a really crazy summer 
for our plants to endure this heat like crazy, right? So this is what I have right here, guys. And remember guys, let's grow together so we can eat together.